What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm more than excited to be showcasing one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. We're rocking out with Sceptile in Regulation App. Now, Sceptile's over here rocking the Unburden as his ability, alongside with the Mirror Herb as his item. And if you do not know what Unburden does, if you do not have an item, you boost your speed. So you get a 1.5 times multiplier on your speed if this Pokemon is not holding an item. So with the Mirror Herb, we can then go into Thunderous, who is going to be our support Pokemon that we can pair up with Sceptile, and it has Swagger. We can Swagger the opponent, make it on plus two on attack, Sceptile then Mirror Herbs plus two, and then it doesn't have an item, ultimately popping its ability, giving it a nice lovely speed boost. So if we do all that perfectly, Sceptile will then be plus two on attack, and then be boosted on speed as well due to its ability, making this thing an absolute unit. Sceptile's got the Flying Terror type with Leaf Blade, Acrobatics, Brick Break, and Protect. Love this moveset so much, you got a lot to do with it. Like we already mentioned, we have Thunderous on today's team. Nice little support Pokemon to pair up with Sceptile, and a nice support Pokemon for the rest of the squad. In our third slot, we got Entei, a Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. Now Entei is really, really solid due to its ability and access to great moves. This one's rocking Inner Focus with a Choice Band as its item. It's got Sacred Fire, E-Speed, Stomping Cantrum, and Iron Head. To pair up with Entei, we got Shen Pao. Can't have an E-Speed user without Shen Pao, just makes him 10 times better. Fifth slot, we got Primarina. Just showcased this Pokemon on the channel, and this Pokemon is so solid all around. This Primarina has Liquid Voice, with the Assault Vest, Rockin' Energy Ball, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, and Icy Wind. In our final slot for Regulation F Squad, it's gonna be Incineroar. Really, really solid with a top tier moveset. Really can't go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner. If you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Look to use Sceptile in Regulation F. Loading into our first match for today's video, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Mr. Kurtastic. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I seen it over on Twitter and noticed the name, so I gotta give a huge shout out to you. If you want to see the Pokebase, check out this team more in depth. I got the link down in the description below to the Pokebase, or I just have the Pokebase chilling in the description below. Just know it's down there if you want to check it out. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Diplin team. A little bit of Diplin team, you don't really see too many Diplins anymore. Now that Hydrapple is here, but they have Tatsugiri and Don Dozo. A little bit of an issue. Don't really like that, but I could go into like Thunderous and Sceptile, which isn't too bad for me. Just the only problem would be... Would be Chiyu and... What's it called? Would be Chiyu and uh, the Deli Bird. Would be rather annoying, right? But I think I'm still going to try to pull it off. So I'm going to lead both of these guys and try to get after it that way. Thunderous and Sceptile. Try to pull off that combo. And then Entei and Chen Pao are just going to be really good for us, right? Could definitely be really good for us. I'm cool with that. So let's lock that in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I think it's actually going to be kind of tough, right? They have a lot of different Pokemon. We can't swagger the, uh, the Chiyu because it is a dark type and Thunderous is Prankster. If we go up against Iron Bundle, we can't Terrasilize Sceptile out of anything because its flying type is still weak to ice. Um, Danthozo and Tatsugiri are always a scary combo, but if they end up leading that, I wouldn't mind it too much, right? I wouldn't mind it too much because I can always mirror Urban stats, which would be wild. I'm actually hoping they do that. I would love to mirror Herb Danthozo's stats. That'd be insane. Plus two on everything with Sceptile. And then just start cooking with it. That could be really good. That could be really good. Let's see who they end up leading here. Let's see. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping they swap into Dondozo and Tatsugiri. And they're gonna lead Diplin and Chiyu. So Diplin Chiyu comes out here. This is a perfect time to just mirror Herb Pop. And maybe just Terrastalize the, uh, the, what's it called? The Sceptile. So Vason is gonna drop, that's no big deal. They're just gonna be starting to throw Heat Waves left and right. And again, I think going into a swagger in this slot and then just terrestrializing and popping an acrobatics into you is going to be your play. So that's going to be my play all day. Thunder should be able to just pop that lovely little swagger. Mirror Herb should pop and we should be able to get off some big time damage. And on top of that, terrestrializing out of the typing that's weak to this fire proof one. I'm cool with that. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Little fishy just chilling here swimming. But he wants to lower evasiveness just for the sheer fact that just landing heat waves is going to be a little bit easier for him. We're going to click that nice big time terror button just so we can soak up at least one of these heat waves here or whatever fire move they want to go into. The big time terror coming out from our boy. 
Diplin, I'm kind of scared to see what you're doing. Maybe if we're going for like a super sweet syrup. And we're going to swagger this first time. So Diplin, going to get the attack boost. Going to get confused. Septile, pop your item please and thank you. And there we go. Plus two on attack. And unburdens pop. So we should be able to outspeed Chiyu, no problem. Now we're going to outspeed Chiyu. Double damage with acrobatics with stab. Plus two. And we say, oh... We say you get a focus sash? Come on now, that ain't right. So he sashes up. Uh, not a big deal, and Heatwave's gonna fly in, which we should be able to soak. Yes, cool. So we soak that up. Diplin is now confused. Diplin is sitting here all confused out, and he's gonna just palm puff and hit up on Sceptile, which Sceptile is able to soak. They don't have any first turn priority. And the real question is, do I think you're faster than Chiyu? I really hope so, right? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe, actually. I think I'm just going to try to attack. I think I'm going to give it a nice little try. Wobble, Storm, and Acrobatics into Diplin. Because right now we get off some big time damage on the Diplin. That's exactly what I'm going to do. She protects anyway, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's huge. That's huge. Acrobatics going to fly over Diplin. This should KO Diplin. Diplin should be gone here. Yeah, get it on out of here. Septile rip in here, match one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So they end up protecting that Pokemon. I get all some nice other turns with these Pokemon. So I can paralyze whoever I want. If they throw out a fast Pokemon, somebody that's going to noise later, I'm just going to paralyze it now. And we're going to really get after it. And they're going to bring out Tatsugiri. Okay. So Tatsugiri comes out here. Um, They could swap into Dondo, so. I really do think our play is to just Wild Bolt Storm here. And then just go into an Acrobatics into the Chiyu slot. I'm cool with that, because if they swap in Dondos, maybe we should have went into a Leaf Blade instead. Yeah, we should have went into Leaf Blade instead. Just in case they swap into Dondozo. So now I'm going to be upset if they do swap into Dondozo. But we know they have it. We know they have Dondozo. I can eventually paralyze that. I can look to get after it with other Pokemon. I do have Shen Pao. I do have Entei. I don't really know how to feel about that, though. I really don't know how to feel about that. They still have Terra as well. Let's see what they do. They end up withdrawing the Chiyu. I knew I should have went for Leaf Blade. I said it right after I picked my move. And Don is going to come out here. So this is going to be a huge threat to us, right? Big time threat. Good thing we are dropping Wild Bolt Storm. I don't know how much damage it's going to do, but still, damage is damage. The good thing about this is, once we paralyze, Sceptile should be able to outspeed Don Dozo, no problem. And Leaf Blade has a high chance of critting, so if we can get a crit off, that'd be ridiculously big. That'd be awesome for us. The Acrobatic's gonna get cooking here. And it's going to do nice damage. We got a crit. Beautiful. I'll take that all day. Wild Bolt Storm's gonna miss Tatsugiri. It's gonna connect onto Dondozo, which is another big, big shot of damage. Big time damage. Tatsugiri's gonna take the Toxic Orb. And that's fine. He's just gonna be poison. So from here, I'm just gonna Thunder Wave just in case Septile doesn't outspeed. And we're just gonna go into this Leaf might have Terra, but still, Leaf Blade should be able to kill whatever Terra you're going to pop, right? Whatever Terra you're going to pop, correct? What Terra do you have? What Terra do you have? What's ass? Let's see. Dragon. Yeah, it, I should KO you. I should KO you. I really hope we can KO you, I should say. Thunder Wave coming out here. It's going to paralyze you. Sceptile's now out speeding. Come on, Sceptile. Pick up a big time KO. Big time KO coming in hot. Leaf Blade flying in here. You soak like that? Huh? You soak like that? <laughs> you soak like that? That's absurd. We're now going to swap into Shen Pao here. <laughs> you soak like that? That's a little absurd. What's going to do more damage? Acrobatics probably. Oh my lord, you soak like that. That's absurd. You know what's crazy? You're not paralyzed anymore. Your sleep just takes off paralyze. You soak that like that? That's a little absurd. I get your plus two on defense, but that's absurd. I'm plus two on attack as well. You soak like that. Oh my lord. Alright, Shen Pao, I need you to crit or something. Dantos is gonna be asleep. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. And Sleep Talk coming in hot here. And he's going to use Rest again. That's fine. It's going to fail. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tatsuki is going to get hurt by the poison. I'm going to start ripping Ice of Crashes. Wow, that is absurd. That is real absurd. That is real absurd. Then I'm going into acrobatics here again, chucking up some nice damage. How much damage is Ice of Crash gonna do? Don't tell me we miss it. Oh my lord. We miss it! Is this is this rest again? I think it's the same one every time. Yes. Okay, cool. No way. No way we're missing our ice of crashes. Can you land your ice of crashes? And you just keep spamming acrobatics? I can't believe this thing survived the first shot. Acrobatics flying again. Nice damage, yo. We're chunking up damage with this thing. Ice of crash landing. Can this KO? I think it can. It does. Cool. Don Dozo, get on out of here. Done playing with you. Done playing with you. Thing was posing a huge threat to begin with. Oh my lord. I was like, this should KO. I kid you not, that Leaf Blade probably did like 3 HP. Like 3 HP. That was absurd. That was absurd. They end up bringing out Chiyu. I outspeed Chiyu on both sides of the field. I think at this point, uh, Tatsukiri's not choice or anything. So Sucker Punch is going to be our play to finish off you. And then we just Leaf Blade to Tatsukiri. Beautiful. Battle was canceled. Sceptile ripping in match number one. I love that we got the showcase Sceptile pretty well in match number one. Popping that Unburden, popping the Mirror Herb, going plus two on attack, and just ripping from there. We start off by doing some big damage on Chiyu, taking out the uh, the Diplin, and then Dandos who giving us a little bit of a problem. Well, ultimately, we overcame it and uh, dominated that match. But we're hopping into our second match. They got Insano Roar alongside with Weirdeer. We love Weirdeer, such a cool Pokemon. Vickable, Grimmsnarl, and Polion, and Hisui Decidueye. So this seems like another team we could potentially pop Mirror Herb Sceptile. But the only problem would be if they want to lead a Pokemon like Incineroar. Then we can have a little bit of issue on our hands. Um, huh. It could lead Grimmsnarl as well. That's why Sceptile would be so good. And I'm thinking of just going for it again. Might as well, right? If they put us minus one, we can still Swagger. And then on top of that, that would just uh, make us plus one at that point. But I still like this. I still like this. In the back end, we're going to go Primarina. I think Primarina is going to be solid, especially up against uh, a few different Pokemon. We have coverage moves for Empoleon. We can deal some big time damage on the Incineroar. And on top of that, we have a Fairy move, right? Yeah, we have Moonblast, which could work on the Grimmsnarl and his Suing Decidueye. So I like that. And then final Pokemon, either Shen Power or Entei. A little bit of more of attacking power in the back end. And from the looks of it, Entei's not bad for late game. Has a bunch of different coverage moves. And you guys seen Shen Pao plenty of times on the channel. So yeah, we're going to go Entei here. We are going to go Entei. Considering we didn't use it in that last match, I like to use it here. I haven't showcased this Pokemon on channel, but trust me, you guys are going to be seeing this Pokemon a ton. Wait, look at that trainer card. That's a sick trainer card. But uh, you guys are going to be seeing Entei a ton in Regulation F when it's allowed on the rank field. But they're going to end up leading. Okay, cool. No Incineroar. We're near alongside with Grimstone. So screens can come out here. I don't mind it too much. I'm just going to swagger the Weird Deer. Actually, is Weird Deer physical attacking? Kind of curious. Is Weird Deer physical attacking? I think it is. I think Weird Deer is physical attacking. I know. I know what's called is too. I know Grimmsnarl is too. But I definitely want to swagger. I'm going to swagger the Weird Deer. And you know what? I'm just going to go for Leaf Blade here. I'm going to Leaf Blade. I am going to swagger. And then I'll just Brick Break next turn. Oh, you end up... You have Fake Out. Okay, that's a little... That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying. You're rocking Fake Out. We do confuse this Pokemon. We do give it the plus two, though. On top of that, I'm just going to Mirror Herb this. Pop that out. And what are you going for, Weird Deer? Hopefully, you just get hurt in Confusion. That'd be pretty big for us. That'd be pretty big for us. Weird Ear, you could be popping Trick Room. You are popping Trick Room. Okay. Okay, I see. Um, maybe just a little bit of Protect here. Maybe a little bit of Wobble Storm. Just to waste out Trick Room turn, because it's probably attacking Sceptile now that we're plus two, right? I would. 
So now we gotta play this one a little different. Solid trick room setup from our opponent. Maybe I should notice a little bit more, but I always get thrown off by a fake out Grim Snarl. Because most of the time, they're just setting up screens, right? You just let them set up screens. They kind of do their thing. But when they use fake out, it always throws me off. And then that's when I start to notice something's going on, and that's when I notice Trick Room is popping. So I protect Sceptile, and out comes the screens. The screens are out and about. I can brick break them next turn, and this thing's going to snap out of confusion in one turn. They go for a stomp. He's trying to stop me. <laughs> Chill. He's trying to stop me. Stops the normal type move. Wild Bolt Storm is going to connect. Not bad damage. We get a crit onto the Grim Snarl. And we get a Paralyze onto the Grim Snarl. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I do want to go for Brick Break here just to break screens off. And I'm just going to go for another Wild Bolt Storm. Just deal damage. Because Chancellor already sets up the Light Screen here. Yep, there's Light Screen. If I can, if I can get off a of Brick Break here, that'd be massive. That'd be massive. Stomp comes out here. And we survive. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I was going to say, we made this thing plus two. We made him plus two on attack. We get a paralyze on him too, which is huge. We're just wasting out these trick and turns really well here. Brick break coming through here. Nice set of damage. And on top of that, we break both screens, wasting all these turns. So how many turns are left in trick? This thing's going to eat up a berry. A nice, lovely berry. We have two turns left in Trick Room. If we go into you and maybe just E-Speed the next turn. That's not bad. Um, or I could just protect you. Let's see how this one plays out. They'd probably see me protecting this turn, to be honest. You know, I'm going to leave. I'm actually just going to Brick Break again. Into the Grim Snarl slot. And I'm just going to Wobble Storm. I think, I think he's going to set up a screen and stomp into my... Uh, into my thunders, right? No, you stop in a set pile after seeing me protect that first turn. That's kind of crazy. That is a little crazy. I made a read, did not work out too well. So now he's gonna get off screens yet again. So screens are just back set up, kind of annoying. Um, unless I can e speed KO. Will e speed come out before that? Would be nice to keep the reflect or keep the reflect off the field. The Trick Room has one more turn left. Um, I'm going to go into Enta here. I'm going to hope that E-Speed can come out before Reflect. That'd be beautiful. I still have Terror too if I want to. But it should be able to KO. So I'm just going to do that and... I'm just going to Wobble Swim. Okay, so hopefully E-Speed goes out before any pranks. I don't think it does though. I don't think it does, but E-Speed's fast. It's like double priority, so... We're, we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope. I always get confused on the priority times, too. Okay. Grim Snarl's textures. Oh my lord, looking so good. Looking so good. He's gonna end up withdrawing the deer. That is weird. And who are you gonna go into? It's his last turn, Turkin, which is good. And you're gonna go into Decidueye. E Speed does come out before that, so reflect not on the field. That's huge. I might just end up terrestrializing my Entei here. And just using it to his fullest potential. Wobble Storm coming through here and doing about 5 damage. Fighting in grass. No paralyze either. But yeah, I'm definitely going to terrestrialize Entei. Um, let's just start throwing paralyzes left and right, right? If they go back into Weird Ear, we will attack that slot. But they're going to go into Empoleon. Now this is definitely a time where we do this and just E-speed this slot. I mean, I could actually go into... No, wait, we're already choosing this. Yeah, I'm just going to Terrasalize. I'm going to E-Speed, and... Do I Thunder Wave, or do I just Wild Bolt Storm? I think I'm going to just Thunder Wave the, uh, the Empoleon. Just throw Paralyzes left and right. So I can see a Terror coming out from the Empoleon as well. So they don't have Reflect up. They do have Light Screen up. I do have a Special Attacker in the back end with Primarina. I like Primarina just because it has Assault Vest and it can really get some work done onto these Pokemon with its really good moveset. But they're going to end up Terrasalize and hopefully it's just Empoleon, right? No, it's going to be Decidueye into... Rock? Really? Really? A Rock Terror type. Really throwing me off here. Rock Terror type comes out here. Protect from the Empoleon. We're going to say bye-bye to our Entei. I'm saying bye-bye to Entei. Entei's gonna hit for like six damage. 
Actually, a lot more than six, but he's dying to, like, close combat or something. Hey, what are you ripping with? What are you ripping with? Terrorblast, yeah. Um, oh, actually, Terrorblast. You're just gonna take out my Thunders? It's my Thunder. Oh, okay. I don't mind that. Now, seeing how much damage we did to that, I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna go for another Wobble Storm. Hopefully, I can pick up the KO onto the Sijuai here. Wow, I thought they were just gonna go for like a fighting move into Entei and just finish that off. A little crazy. But the rock terror type, really? You should be flying again. We're going right into it after seeing how much damage we just did. And we almost KO. That's why I hope just Wobble Storm could just finish this off. And of course, you got Sucker Punch, but we soaked that too. Beautiful. Wobble Storm. Beautiful. Awesome. Everything's working out perfectly here. So, Sceptile, we got to start it here in match number one. They slow played it with Trick Room. We broke screens. They were able to get one of the screens back up. And from here, Entei is pretty much just cleaning up everything else, right? Hydro Pump comes through. Doing a huge chunk of damage, but we're able to soak. So now they're forced to bring back out Weird Deer, who we're just going to eat speed. And throw another Wild Bolt Storm, and then have Primarina in the back end, just to kind of clean up everything else. Intimidate. Weird Deer with Intimidate. So East Speed over on to you. We will just go for another Wild Blue Storm, and they just cancel battle. So 2 0, lighting it up with Sceptile so far. I love how we're showcasing this team today. We got Sceptile out there in match number one, pulling off the combo, dominating from there. And then in match number two, we got to use a little bit of Sceptile, and then rocked out with Entei. And Entei, gonna be amazing. Gonna be amazing. You guys just seen it there. Even without Shen Pao, it was still ripping. But we're hopping into our third and final match, and I feel like I'm gonna struggle with this team. I always struggle up against Archaludons in the range. So they got Archaludon and Pelipper alongside with Scissor Shen Pao. So yeah, definitely gonna be tough. They also have Tinkaton, and they got Sylveon. So trying to think of how I could actually play this one, I could maybe just go into like Thunderous and Sceptile to pull that off again or instead i can maybe just lead shen pao and entei and try to rip from there right which i don't think is bad just leave both of these bring septile in the back end because it's going to be pretty solid and then last but not least maybe a pokemon like primarina with the salt vest could be pretty good but i just think we're going to struggle with this one i really do i really do all around it just it just looks tough for me right archie is just an absolute beast super bulky Hits like a truck, especially in the ring with Electro Shot, giving it that plus one on that special attack boost. It's just a monster of a threat. <clears throat> and then you can throw it like the Stellar Terror type or even Electric Terror type for Electro Shot. It's just a problem. It's just a problem. <laughs> it really is. It really is. But they end up leading both of them, the problem itself. And I think from here, you're just going to Terrasalize, aren't you? I'm going to Terrasalize my Entei, right? Yeah, I'm going to Terrasalize my Entei. I'm going to go into the normal typing and. We just have to attack Arch Ludon. Just such a big threat. It's just too big of a threat. It gets these defense boosts too, which, oh my lord. I don't even know if I should double down into it. I really don't know how I should play this. I'm just going to hope to like crit this thing. We're just going to hope to crit this thing. Because I was honestly thinking of just like attacking the right slot, taking down all the Pokemon, and dealing with Arch Ludon at the end. But at that point, it'll probably be like plus six on stamina, defense boost. He'll be hitting like a truck and just be a huge set. But I just seem to always struggle with Arch Ludon right now. Snake Sword's gonna fly. Give me a crit. I like that damage. I like that damage. I like that damage. That damage is awesome. Stomp the catcher gonna fly. I don't think it's gonna KO. It does KO. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. My boys. With the choice band. With the choice band. We love it. Now we try to slice just to kind of dodge the uh, water move, but he ends up tailwinding it instead. Oh my lord, we were able to dump on that Arch Luna. That was massive. Real massive. I think I kind of forgot the power of Shen Pao paired up with physical attackers. So he ends up going into Scissor. Now I could hard swap uh, Entei here. And just bring in another back end Pokemon. But I think we're just going to stay in here. Iso Crash U. And mm, I could swap in like Pre here. Or even Sceptile wouldn't be bad. I am scared of like the X Scissor. But I'm going to outspeed him. I kind of just want to reset this choice a bit, right? Honestly, it's not bad. It's not a bad choice ban. It really isn't a bad choice ban. I'm going to rip into it. Bull Punch going to fly here. I'm going to go after my Shinpowski. Shinpowski going to do soak. Living on three. And that's a crash. He's coming in hot. 
The Lizzo Crash cooking, putting that thing down in half. He's gonna end up popping it in the eject button. So just waste his turn. We like that. We like that. Stopping catch and flies, and I can sucker punch next turn, which should come out before bullet punch. Cool. Does this thing have air balloon? And I didn't read it. You have air balloon? And I didn't read it? Nice. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Air balloon. Awesome. I think I might hard swap here. I don't know. Nice. So we just wasted a turn. I should have swapped in that turn. Um. I'm going to swap into Pre here. Pre Marina. Swap into Pre Marina. We're going to reset our choice band. Because, I mean, normal choice bands are going to be, or not normal, an E-speed choice band could be really good in a late game. We're going to swap into Pre Marina here. Protection going to come out from here. We're hoping the Sucker Punch is flying that way and a Sacred Sword is coming into the Pre Marina slot, right? Correct statement by Jeans. There's a block there. Sacred Sword. Cool. So good, good call on my end. We're able to so. And from here, we now just drop a Sucker Punch into you because you're going to die to Bullet Punch anyway. And then we'll go for a Moon Blast into the slot. Okay. Not bad. Not a bad swap. Just Shen Pao and Scissor is just terrifying me. They end up terrasslizing. Okay, so Shen Pao gets a Terror type. Solid on their end, right? No, Skizzy. Skizzy gets a Terror type into flying. Skizzy's going. Flying style. He's taking off. That's fine. I mean, Sucker Punch is still going to be able to fly. Do some nice damage onto you. And I think you really just want to attack my Pre Marina, right? Yeah, that's exactly what they want to do. So he wants to Terrasalize. He wants to get the damage boost here. He wants to go after my Pre Marina. Then I'm hoping that we could soak up. I don't think we can. What are you going for? Dual Wing Beat? I don't think so, right? Oh my. Lord, the damage next to Shen Pao is absurd. So that was a great call for them. But now we have Scizor in a spot that it can't soak up E-Speeds anymore. So Choice Band E-Speed can rip. A Choice Band E-Speed can rip. And this might just have to be my play. I might have to just go E-Speed, take out the Scizor, protect the Sceptile, and make a read that an Ice move is coming into the Sceptile set, right? I think that's our best bet. I like that. So E speed. Coming in hot. Protect the boy here. And say that the ice moves coming in the slot, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Come on, man. Show me my show me my calls are good. Show me my calls are good. E speed finishes off the scissor, no problem. See you later, Skizzy. Get on out my face. And then Shen Pal just drops a nice little ice spinner slash icicle crash into Septile. No sacred sword needed. No Sacred Sword needed. Big time calls from Jeans. Big time calls from Jeans. So now here, I can finish off Pelipper no problem with E Speed, and I'm thinking of doing that, right? I'm thinking of doing that because I don't really want him to set up a Tailwind. I don't want him to hurricane into my Sceptile slot. So I'm just going to E Speed here, and if I can, I'll get off a Brick Break and go in this slot. That do more damage? Yeah, actually. This is stab, so this will get to 1.5 times multiplier. Give it a plus 45, so this will go up to 135. This will be double. This will be 150. So yeah, this actually does more damage. So E speed's gonna fly. We're just gonna finish off the Pelipper. Pelipper dies out here. And Shen Pao probably takes out Sceptile, correct? Yeah, that's that, I mean that's fine. We wasted one turn out of that and that works wonders, because now Entei can just rip here. He's going to take some life orb damage, and I think one E speed should KO you, right? I think so. Choice Ban with the Terror type should KO you. If not, we should be able to eat up a Sacred Sword. I hope we would, but I just think we KO, right? Yeah, Entei absolutely lightening up in today's video. Same thing with Sceptile. Loved using both of them. Come on, man. That is too easy. That's too easy. 
Sceptile absolutely lighting it up for us today. Same thing with Entei, two regulation F Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet, fitting them into today's video, which was awesome. Sceptile was awesome with Thunderous, paired up next to it in match number one, and then Entei really coming in clutch in match number three. So again, got to showcase both these Pokemon and love both of them on this ladder. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.